guys watch Netflix, you'll know that the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina just came out, which is the remake of, which is the darker remake and intake of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I really like the show, so I thought why not, you know, do some Buzzfeed quizzes and see what character I am, and I can help you guys get to know who I am, I guess. Yeah, okay, the first quiz we're going to do is deciding which Sabrina character we are. Pick a sense. Sight, touch, taste, sound, smell, the sixth sense. Ooh, no, I say touch. I rely on touch a lot. Pick a Riverdale character to hang out with. Cheryl, Polly, Archie, Tony. Alice or Kevin? Definitely Kevin, like his personality is just the greatest to hang out with. What's your worst trait? Definitely, I don't... <laughs> I never leave my house. I haven't left my house in a long time. I only ever go out for uni or shopping. I, I'm just lazy. She's a pop culture. Cat, as you're familiar. Oh. Okay. Who's Smelly Cat from Friends? Is that a song? I'm so confused. Um, I would go with Garfield, Garfield just because he's so sassy. It's great. You can cut. You can cast one spell. What's it going to be? Love spell, a hex on your enemy, a direction spell, money spell, protection spell, healing spell. I'm probably going to go for protection spell just so I knew nothing bad could harm us, me and my boyfriend, you know. After moving out, I'm so worried that one of us is just going to get hurt or have an accident or something. Finally, what's your favourite Halloween candy? Reese's Pieces? I have no idea what that is. Sour Patch? I don't like Sour Patch. Candy Corn? Never had it. Candy Eyeballs? Never had it. Dark Chocolate Big Caps? Twizzlers? Okay, I've never had. One, two, three, four. I don't like you. I love Kit Kats, but I don't like Dark Chocolate, but I'm going to go with Kit Kats anyway, because, you know. I'm Prudence. As hair of the weird sisters, you're practically the occult. Re Regina George. People fear you and admire you, and that's exactly how you like it. Um, that is very inaccurate, this test. And that's because I'm not confident to be a leader, I'm a follower. Now we're going to do a quiz to see which Hocus Pocus, which we are. I love the movie Hocus Pocus, it's so good. Do you like to read books? Yes, I love reading books. I'm currently reading a book called Call Me By Your Name and I definitely recommend you guys reading it. It's such a good bloody book. Rats, you have typhoid fever. What are you watching on your sleep day? Sex and the City. First Wives, Club and Bitches, the Sister Act series. I have no idea what any of these are, but I'm going to... Oh, the Sister Act series. Oh, wait, no, I love those movies. So yeah, I'll definitely choose those. What colour is your hair? It's red, guys. See? Jokes. It's brown. What were you like in high school? You knew all the boys, you spent most of your time scheming, you napped into lunch. I did none of those things. I ate all lunch. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go napped into lunch because. Yeah. What's your superpower? Electrokinesis? Hype. Hypnosis through song. Ooh, like Jigglypuffs of Pokemon. You have one powerful sniffer. <laughs> I'm a great, I'm a bloodhound, guys. Now, I'll make a hypnosis for a song. That would be great. How do you wear your lipstick? 
I do not wear lipstick at all. I don't wear makeup or anything. I don't even wear jewelry. I hate jewelry too. On puckered lips on the side of my mouth, a little bit on my two buck teeth. I go on my puckered lips. What's your mode of transportation? Vacuum. That would be interesting. I'm going to choose a vacuum just because that would be so interesting. I got Mary Sanderson. I, yeah, I feel like I most mostly relate to her because she's um, clumsy and goofy like me. So yeah. Everyone has an unpopular Halloween candy that matches their personality. Here's yours. Mm, wonder what my Halloween candy will be. Pick your favourite costume. I would go princess, jokes, vampire. Pick something scary. The dark. Definitely the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. What's your favourite TV show? Stranger Things, 13 Reasons Why. Riverdale, Big Mouth. Never seen Big Mouth. Riverdale, the first season was so good. And then I started watching the second season and I just stopped. Like, I stopped halfway through episode two because it was just, I don't know, the acting has got so bad season two for some reason. So yeah, I stopped watching Riverdale. Season one is the only good season. 13 Reasons Why is so good, but so is Stranger Things. I'll probably go 13 Reasons Why, just because of the large significance and meaningfulness like, of the show and its relevance to today and what happens in today's society and stuff like that. Pick a movie villain. Michael Myers, Chucky. No. Hannibal Lecter, Annabelle. Hannibal Lecter, because there's nothing um, paranormal about it, and I'm afraid of anything paranormal pretty much. I am a wolf bag. So, Hannibal Lecter, he's a cannibal, but at least he's human. Pick your favourite thing about October. My birthday? The leaves changing, the crisp weather. Halloween, carving jack o -lantern. Well, Halloween and Carmen Jacqueline ain't really a thing in Australia, so it doesn't really apply to me. Leaves changing, not so much in October here. The crisp weather. I'd say the weather. I got Almond Joy. Apparently, it matches my personality, even though I've never heard of them before. I've never had it. Cool. What kind of witch are you? Cool. First, pick a magical item. Magical crystals. No, I can't. I can't stand touching fit crystals. They just feel wrong to me. A book of spells. Incense. Ruby slippers. Ah, oh, I'm tossing between the book and incense. I'm a big fan of candles, but incense not so much big fat books too. Just because incense isn't really a candle and I love candles but not so much incense, I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go with a book of spells. Which quality, can't speak, which quality do you prize above all others? Experience, creativity, knowledge, respect for nature. I really do respect nature. I just love being around it, even though I never leave the house. But when I do, it's just so calming, and I feel like it kind of just heals your soul a little bit every time you just spend time around nature. It's such a healing and a wonderful experience. But I would say creativity is the quality I prize most because you need to be creative to like pretty much survive in today's society and world I guess. Pick a movie about witches, practical magic. Is that Sandra Bullock? Whoa. 
Okay, let's use a little witch name. Picus, Picus, the Chronicles of Narnia. Alvira, Mistress of the Dark. Well, I haven't seen these two. Picus, Picus is a good movie, but so is the Chronicles of Narnia. And I I'm gonna choose the Chronicles of Narnia just because I like that much better. Pick a potion, truth serum, love potion, sleeping potion, potion. Potion of eternal life. I'll definitely go truth serum. Finally, what are your plans for the weekend? My plans for the weekend are to get my pay and buy food. Because we don't have much food left in the house. So I gotta wait to the weekend do I get paid? Um what are my options? Studying up on spells. Casting charms to help my friends' love lives. Riding my broomstick, befriending stray animals. And I've had some pretty bad experiences with bad with stray animals, especially cats. Got scratched so many times. So I think I would just go up with probably riding my broomstick. In relation to like Harry Potter Quidditch, oh, I would love to play Quidditch. So yeah, I got bad witch. You're more of a wicked witch for so sure. You answer to no one but yourself, and you craftily use your powers to further your own agenda. Wow, I would say I'm not a bad witch. What part of that said anything about me being a bad? I guess that choice there. Wait. I suppose. Which hatred, sorry, which hated Harry Potter character are you most like? Hmm, I don't know. What's your Hogwarts house? Definitely Ravenclaw. My love for books and knowledge and creativity, it's just, it's just me. What's your Hogwarts pet? A bird, a cat, a wolf, an owl, a gerbil? No pets, thanks. Ooh, Death Skull Wolf. Um, a wolf would probably be one of my favourite animals. A giraffe is my favourite animal. A wolf would probably be second and then an owl would be third. Which of these is your biggest flaw? Being unable to choose, arrogance, pettiness, my ego, my ditzy personality, saying what I want. Probably out of these things here being unable to choose. I can never make my own decisions and if I try to it takes me like half an hour so not half an hour, it takes me like hours to even make my own decisions so yeah that would probably be it. Pick a date from the 60s of Hogwarts. Remus Lupin, Sirius Black, James Potter, Severus Snape, Lily Evans, no offense. Definitely serious. I mean, he is such an amazing character and such a shame that he died. And like, pretty much every good character died. Which of these is your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, caramel, rocky road, mint, death's chocolate. But, not, but if you could have another option, I'd probably choose Choc Chip. Okay, put that option there for me please. Chop Chip is my favourite favourite defence against the dark arts. Professor Professor. Hmm. Definitely not Lockhart. I would say definitely not Umbridge either. Um I'd probably say Professor Weaven. Just because he made the most progress and he was really good at teaching. It was a shame that he had to leave his position just for being a werewolf. Which character would you like to pulverize the most? What's the term pulverize mean? Reduced to fine particles. Okay. Definitely average. I don't care about anybody else. Like, I, I want to do it to follow him up because. In my eyes, he ain't nearly as bad as Umbridge. Umbridge is a uh, woo, and just why?
It took me a year, maybe a year and a half to get through the fifth book of the Harry Potter series just because I absolutely hated Umbridge. It was so hard to read through, especially what she was doing to Harry and it was just like, I can't do this. So I had to take heaps of breaks from the book and it took me a year and a half to finish that one book and it was just great. What magical object would you love to have? The time shadow, the outer wand, the resurrection stone, the cloak of invisibility. Not risky as quill and a limited stock of poetry spice. I'd probably go with the cloak of invisibility. I got Cho Chang. Well, okay, I can kind of see the resemblance. Give us your Harry Potter preferences and we'll guess your zodiac sign. Okay, choose your house. Ravenclaw. Choose one of Hagrid's beasts. Buckbeak. Or Norbert. I love Norbert. No, Buckbeak. Choose a tribe as a tool with tusks. The dragons and my people the maze. I'd go with the maze. I can't swim and plus I don't want to face off against dragons. Like, no thank you. Choose a class. Transfiguration, charms, potions, astronomy, herbology, defense against the dark arts. I feel like charms and potions I would love. But also defense against the dark arts. So it's any mini mini mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he squirrels, let him go. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. Choose a professor. Hmm. Definitely McGonagall. She was the best. Especially in the books. When Harry Potter gets sent to her office after being sassy to Umbridge. And Professor McGonagall was just like, have a biscuit potter and just it's just great. Choose an iconic hate Harry Potter treat, butterbeer, chocolate frogs, birdie bots, everything beans, pumpkin pastries, licorice ones, pumpkin and juice. Definitely butterbeer. Ah, I am a piskies. Nope, I am a Libra. I'm intuitive and compassionate, which makes some great listeners and shows to lean on. That is exactly right here, is exactly my personality spot on. And I'm just not a piskies. I'm a Libra. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you had fun watching, watching me do quizzes and getting to know my personality a little bit better. I'm going to end it here. I hope you're having a great day or night, wherever you are. Bye!